എന്താണ് ചാപ്റ്ററിന്റെ പേര് നോയിങ് അവർ നമ്പേഴ്സ് അല്ലെ നമ്മള് ലാർജ് നമ്പേഴ്സിനെ കുറിച്ച് പഠിച്ചു പിന്നെ ലാർജ് നമ്പേഴ്സിന്റെ വർക്കിംഗ് എങ്ങനെയാണ് അതിന്റെ എക്സാമ്പിൾസ് ഒക്കെ പഠിച്ചത് മക്കൾ ഓർക്കുന്നുണ്ടോ Look at the marking on the ruler. There are 15 units marked in centimeters. Also notice that each centimeter is divided into 10 equal parts, known as millimeters. Thus, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. Centimeters and meters are used as units of measurement for small measurements to measure bigger measurements higher unit of measure like meter is used 1 meter is equal to 100 cm to measure the distance between two cities higher unit of measurement known as kilometers is used 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters thus to convert kilometers into meters we multiply it with 1000 for example 55 kilometers is equal to 55 into 1000 meters which is equal to 55000 meters similarly kilometers can also be converted into centimeters 1 meter okay ini ningalde book il exercise 1.2 koduthittunde adu makkal cheyidho ini next nammal padikkan povunnathu estimating numbers enginaanu nammal numbers ne estimate cheyyunathu adayathu larger aano smaller aano greater aano anganalla okay In this module you will learn to estimate numbers by rounding them off to their nearest tens hundreds and thousands okay appo ee estimating numbers nu vachayanal namukku krithyamayittu parayan pattatha korcha numbers ille adayad ipo nammal ellaru home you gulil kaichittundu alle appo adinathu namukku cheriya oru bottle alle avaru marunu varunathu adinathu etra number of tablets undo nammukku parayan patto ഇല്ല അപ്പൊ നമ്മളൊരു ഏകദേശം നമ്പർ പറയും അതേപോലെ എന്താ പറയുന്നത് കുറെ കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ നമ്മൾ ഏകദേശം ഇത്ര രൂപ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ ഏകദേശം എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞിട്ട് നമ്മൾ കടകളിൽ ഇപ്പൊ എന്തെങ്കിലും ലിസ്റ്റ് കൊടുത്ത് കഴിയുമ്പോഴേക്കും അവർ പറയില്ലേ ആ ഓൾമോസ്റ്റ് ഒരു ആയിരം രൂപയുടെ സാധനങ്ങൾ അഞ്ഞൂറ് രൂപയുടെ സാധനങ്ങൾ അപ്പൊ നമുക്കൊരു അപ്രോക്സിമേറ്റ് വാല്യൂ പറയുന്നത് അതായത് നമുക്ക് ഒരു വാല്യൂനെ റൗണ്ട് ഓഫ് ചെയ്യുന്നതിനെ കുറിച്ചാണ് നമ്മളിപ്പോ ഈ എസ്റ്റിമേറ്റിംഗ് നമ്പേഴ്സിൽ പഠിക്കാൻ പോകുന്നത് You may have heard the words approximately roughly around being used in various situations for example the population of india is approximately 1 billion the cost of a standard family car is roughly 4 lakhs these toys will cost around 100 rupees these words are used when estimates of quantities are stated let's take the example of the cost of two items the first has a price tag of 96 rupees and the second of 83 rupees generally when stating their price 100 why rounding off numbers to th- quantities are stated let's take the example of the cost of two items the first has a price tag of 96 rupees and the second of 83 rupees generally when stating their prices we may say that the first item costs around 100 rupees and the second around 80 rupees 
In the first case, since 96 is closer to 100 than to 90, we say approximately 100 and not approximately 90. In the second case, since 83 is closer to 80 than 90, we say approximately 80 and not 90. This method of approximation is known as rounding off. So here we can say that 96 is rounded off to the nearest tens, which in this case is 100. While 83 is rounded off to 80, which is the nearest tens to... Okay, you did that by the to zero. Whereas number six, seven, eight, nine are nearer to ten. So we round off to ten. Number five is equidistant from both zero and ten. So it is a common practice to round it off to ten. Let us see how numbers are rounded to the nearest hundred. Price of two balls is 125 rupees and 100 and 79 rupees respectively 
since 125 is closer to 100 compared to 200. It is rounded off to the nearest 100, that is 100. Whereas 179 is closer to 200 than compared to 100. Hence, it is rounded off to the nearest hundreds, 200. While rounding off numbers to 100, 1 to 49 are closer to 0 than to 100, so are rounded off to 0. Numbers 51 to 99 are closer to 100 than to 0, so are rounded off to 100. 50 is equidistant from both 0 and 100. Hence, Okay, man, slide. You are in the scale of 0 to 100. That is, we have 100 to 200. That is, we have 50 to 100. That is, we have 0 to 100. That is, we have 150. That is, we have 150. That is, we have left side. That is, we have 150. That is, we have left side. That is, we have 149. That is, It is a common practice to round it off to 100. Next, let's see an example to understand how numbers are rounded off to the nearest thousand. The number of students in a primary section of a school is 850. The secondary section of the school has 1850 students. Here we see that 850 is closer to 1000 compared to zero. Hence, it is rounded off to the nearest thousands, which in this case is 1000. Similarly, 1850 is closer to 2000 compared to 1000. Hence, it is rounded off to 2000. Numbers 1 to 499 are closer to zero compared to 1000. So these numbers are rounded off to zero. The numbers 501 to 999 are closer to 1000 compared to zero. So they are rounded off to 1000. The number 500 is also rounded off to 1000. In this module, you learned that the method of approximation of numbers is known as rounding off. While rounding off to the tens, numbers 1, 2, 3, and 4 are rounded off to 0, whereas 6, 7, 8, and 9 are rounded off to 10. 5 is equidistant from both 0 and 10. So it is a common practice to round it off to 10. While rounding off to the 100, numbers 1 to 49 are rounded off to 0. Whereas, 51 to 99 are rounded off to 100. 50 is equidistant from both 0 and 100. It is a common practice to round it off to 100. While rounding off to 1000, numbers 1 to 499 are rounded off to 0. Whereas, 501 to 999 are rounded off to 1000. 500 is equidistant from both 0 and 1000. It is a common practice to round it off to 1000. Estimate the difference between. 
and Alamadiao. Okay? Between 6,259 and 810 to the nearest tens and then to the nearest hundreds to find out which is the more reasonable estimate of the two. The given numbers are 6,259 and 810. We need to round off the numbers to the nearest tens before calculating their difference. Rounding off 6,259 to the nearest tens, we get... 6,259 the nearest ten is 6,260, isn't it? At 6,260, as it is closer to 6,260. Rounding off 810 to the nearest tens, we get 810. 810. Therefore, we need to find the difference between 6,260 and 810, which is 5,450. We need to round off the numbers to the nearest hundreds before calculating their difference. Rounding off 6,259 to the nearest hundreds, we get 6,300. As 6,259 is closer to 6,300. Rounding off 810 to the nearest hundreds, we get 800 as 810 is closer to 800. Therefore, we need to find the difference between 6300 and 800, which is 5500. To check our estimations, let us now find the actual difference between 6259 and 810 to know whether 5450 or 5500 is a more reasonable estimate of their difference. The actual difference between 6,259 and 810 is 5,449. 5,449 compared to 5500. Okay. In this module, you will learn how to estimate the outcomes of numbers. The technique of rounding off numbers can also be used to estimate the sum, difference, or product of numbers. To find the estimate of outcome of these operations, the numbers involved must be rounded off to the nearest tens, hundreds, or thousands. Let's understand this with an example. To estimate the sum of the numbers 9,386 and 432, on rounding them off to the nearest tens, 9,386 rounds off to 9,390, and 432 rounds off to 430. Their estimate of the sum is 9,820. We'll round off these numbers to the nearest hundreds. 9,386 is closer to 9,400. Hence, it rounds off to 9,400. And 432 is closer to 400. Hence, it rounds off to 400. On adding the rounded off numbers, we get the sum as 9,800. Similarly, on rounding them off to the nearest thousands, we get 9,000 and 0. The sum of their estimate is 9,000. The actual sum is 9,818. Thus we can see that rounding off to tens 
gives the closest estimate here. Similarly, the difference between these two numbers can also be estimated. On rounding off to the nearest tens, the estimated difference is 8960. Rounding off to the nearest hundreds, the estimated difference is 9000. Similarly, rounding off to the nearest thousands, we get the estimated difference as 9000. The actual difference is 8000. 954. We can see that rounding off to the nearest tens gives the closest estimate. Now, let us estimate the product of 300 and... Okay, let me first estimate the product of 386 and 82. Estimate the product of 386 and 82. And 86. And 82. After rounding off the numbers 386 and 82 to the nearest tens, we get the estimated product as 31,200. To the nearest hundreds, the estimated product is 40,000. And rounding off to the nearest thousands, the estimated product is zero. We can see that there is a vast variation in the estimates. Rounding off to the nearest thousands is not a good estimation. Here, rounding off to the nearest tens is a good estimate. However, this may be a bit time consuming. Rounding 386 to the nearest hundreds, that is, to 400, and rounding 82 to the nearest tens, that is 80, gives the estimate of the product as 32,000. This is both a good and quick estimate. There are no rigid rules for estimating the outcomes of operations. The procedure depends on the degree of accuracy required and how quickly the estimate is needed. The most important thing is how sensible the guest answer would be. In this module, you learned that. So, Apo, Namal and the estimation Badju, within the lap in the detailed video, Namal last class, the last week, and then upload it in the Makala Kana, Ningala textbook, activities, Pircha item, Jayana, and the Matra Ningalka, then Zana Mansla Ulo, Elpuana, just on the Ningala, the owner and the Nana, the Nathola works, and then more and more problems in English either and other, the Elpatilla, Ningalka Mansla come with you. Okay. So, we will the next class. In the next portion, next class, we will complete the first chapter. Then, we will complete next portion. Do you have any questions? No! No! no. no.